part of my, uh, some of my uh, most uh, memorable childhood of the 1970s. We would, uh, me and my dad, uh, sometimes my mom would go, but uh, usually just me and my dad, um, we'd drive over to Grandpa's, and that was Dad's mom and dad, over to uh, Walton, Verona, Kentucky. It's actually Verona, Gallatin County, about a 90-minute drive. We'd end up going over there probably um, two or three times a month. And uh, we get over there, and uh, Grandma always had lunch or dinner on it. She'd always have a hot. I'm going to make you hungry. There just, there's just no way around it. I'm, I'm going to uh, make you hungry. She always have hot biscuits. Uh, she kept up, uh, you know, these kitchen white towels. She always kept a towel over the food, so uh, nothing or a plate. But like for uh, dinner, she'd have poke salad. Now over there, it grew wild on their property. I remember watching her pick it. And, uh, uh, it, you know, it's it's real strong. So I think, I think the way you cook it is you cook it once, throw off the water, then uh, a, a refre uh, refill with water and cook it again because it's really strong. But after she would she would dilute it a little bit. Man, you take some vinegar or or anything butter, it didn't matter. Real butter, and you eat that with fried potatoes or gravy. I tell you what, it. That is, I mean, it's probably 10 times better than canned spinach. Uh, it just, uh, I don't know any other name for it, uh, so you can identify it. It just grows wild, big leaves, and uh, poke salad. I don't know if that's a technical name or that's the uh, slang to it. But that's what I've always heard it called, poke salad. But you put a little vinegar on that, uh, you know, and it cooks up, you know, it's big leaves. But, boy, I tell you what, now that's some eating. I can't remember if my other grandma cooked it or not. I'm, I was sitting here, you know, I'm trying to remember back 45, 50 years. And uh, all through the 1970s, I'm hoping I'm loud enough because this microphone on this camera is not the best. Um, uh, I, I, this is a Samsung Galaxy phone. It's a very, very good phone. A lot of bells and whistles, but the microphone is not the greatest. Before I bought this phone a year ago, uh, I watched the reviews, and I agree with the reviews. Now, the overall reviews on this phone I don't agree with because the, the bells and whistles is a lot better. It's a lot better than what they um, what they said in reviews. Well, it always is. You know, you take reviews like a grain of salt. But the overall phone, the overall uh, of the Samsung Galaxy uh, A03, I believe, uh, it's a, it's a lot better than what the re review, you know, they always put down a $49 phone. I don't know why they do that. I'd be more brutally honest, but, uh, uh, it's a much better phone than what they said it was. But anyway, back to the, uh, poke salad, poke salad. Yeah. I'm, uh, all through the 1970s, I ate poke salad with my grandma, grandpa, me and my dad. And it's just good, you know. Uh, 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 but I'm I was sitting here trying to remember, did my other grandma fix it? Seems like she did, but I don't think as often. I don't like. I don't know if it grows wild up here in Ohio or not. I know my dad was picking some about a month or two ago on his property, and he lives on the Kentucky Tennessee line. 
So in, in Kentucky, poke salad grows wild. If I was a millionaire, if I was a rich man, and I knew how to, I knew how, uh, what to pick. I would pick me some and cook it, and you 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 have to pour the water off because it's real strong, and put uh, fresh you know fill with fresh water and cook it again. It's so worth it. If I was a rich man, if I was a millionaire, I would still like to cook some poke salad because it's good. You know, I'm a simple guy. If, if if you know if I, if I uh, if I was wealthy, I still like I still pick some poke salad. Don't cost you nothing, and it's good. Just just cook it the right way. Uh, but um, that was some of my fond memories of my childhood growing up in nineteen seventies. 1970s and poke salad. It really didn't get much better.